what's going on guys just doing a quick pop-up uh hey lily uh i wasn't live did you did this come up on youtube it didn't show the picture did it it just showed that i was coming live not sure what's going on with it that's weird that you could see that because i hadn't posted it yet how's it going lily good to see you let me look on here and see if I'm live. Hey, Elizabeth. Good to see you. I was just doing a pop-up. Yeah, I was setting up the live, and it's weird that it showed up on YouTube because I wasn't done setting it up. RV Weekends, what's up? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I am just doing a pop-up to say hello to everyone. Drinking some ice raspberry iced tea. I got some unsweetened tea and put it in this little blender with some raspberries. It's pretty good. And some ice. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, Sandra. Good to see you. It is a nice day here today. I, uh, I'm i bummed. I ordered a battery-powered pressure washer. It was, it's an inexpensive one, but... It wouldn't pump the water. I unpacked it today and it wouldn't pump the water. So I called Amazon and I got to ship it back to them. So that's kind of a bummer. Hello, Diane Phoenix. Good to see you. I'm just doing a pop-up today. Yeah, the little pressure. I'll show you guys the pressure washer I ordered. Uh, and it just wouldn't pump the water. The motor would turn on, but it wouldn't prime. It was odd how that wouldn't work. Uh, but they told me to return it and they're going to give me my money back. I, I, I'll have to go to town next week and send it out. But uh, every video I watched on it, uh, they were pretty cool. But that little one right there. I just got it to do my windows with it. And because I can't reach the top of my windows didn't work it, it motor turned on it charged up motor turned on but it would not pump the water hello tracy k good to see you elizabeth lizzie lou how you been long time no see young lady let's see everybody saying hi to everybody yep i am just uh taking a little break i i don't want to i'm I can move the van. I could drive it over to the neighbor's uh, cabin there and we could hook up their big pressure washer and wash it, but not really into unpacking or packing everything up to move out, unplugging it. Uh, and because this parking spot I'm in is kind of hard to back into. And uh, so I was just going to wash it a little bit by hand. So I got, I got a bucket of water and wash some of it. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit every day. And the next time I take it to town, I'll try to find a car wash that I can fit under. There was only one car wash in this area that uh, my van could go under. And where it had steps, I could climb up to wash the top of the van. Staying busy, are you? Hey, Busby. Hello. Good to see you. Everybody's saying hello. Yeah, I just thought I'd do. Becky Allen, how you doing? Good to see you. Always a pleasure. Yep, so I've been messing with that power washer the, today. Uh, watched a bunch of videos on it and tried to prime it like they said if it wouldn't prime, but it, it still wouldn't prime. Hey, Martina One, good to see you. Too much rain here. Got the shot in, in my back yesterday. I seen that, yeah. I hurt, called my boss about work April 17th, but she hasn't called me back. I'm sorry you're hurting, hun. I know that's horrible. Back pain is horrible. I bet it hurt. I bet. Yeah, I got my glasses thing figured out. I called my insurance company and they sent me they sent me to another eye uh, care place. And so they're going to do my uh, diabetic eye check plus... Uh, you know, set me up for glasses. So I got all that taken care of. I just have to wait till the 26th of this month. Uh, but at least I got it taken care of. I've been waiting to get glasses for 
six months I was on a waiting list. And then when I got, when they booked the lit or, you know, set me up for the appointment, they were only testing for diabetes. They wasn't going to give me a prescription for glasses. Uh, they said that wasn't part of the, the, uh, referral. I was like, well, I know I need glasses. <laughs> so I'm sorry your back's hurting too there, Sandra. That's awful. I'm telling you, these are the best little things, man. I can make little cold icy drinks all day in it. It's a ninja, ninja blast. I think that's what it's called. I just put some fruits and some unsweet tea in it, man. It tastes good. Or you can make, I, I made a pretty good smoothie the other day with just some un, uh, plain yogurt, Greek yogurt, and a banana and some strawberries. It was good. Put a little orange juice in it. It was good. Yeah, glad you made it home safely. For sure. Yeah, I thought I'd pop in here and see what everybody's up to. Who are you searching for, Busby? I'm I missed I must not realize somebody's missing. Is this I, I don't see the news, so Hey, Ken, good to see you. We're just doing a pop-up live. Good to see you. If you guys don't know Van Life Ken, go check him out. He has the cutest little girl. Uh, he's such a good dad. I love watching his channel. Um, pouring down rain there today. Oh, a 15-year-old. How long has he been missing, Busby? I haven't seen the news. That's horrible. Okay, see you later, Sandra. Yeah, that's horrible. Autistic boy missing. I have, I have, I guess it's probably on national news. You want to look it up. He's been missing since. Oh, wow. That's so sad. Dang it. Last thing I seen about somebody missing was that kid in the kid that was at a bar in Tennessee. I, I mean, he wasn't a young kid. He was like 21, I think. But he was drinking with some friends. Did you guys see that? I, I, did they ever find him? Or is this the same fella? It's a very odd story. Nothing makes sense. Man. Yeah, that kid that was... He, he was a college kid is the one I'm talking about. I think he was with some buddies. Uh, at a at a bar owned by a famous singer, and uh, he left the bar. Oh, they found him in the river, so he fell in the river. That's horrible. I don't see a lot of news. It don't pop up for me on YouTube. A lot of news don't because I don't watch it. Usually. Uh, mostly that what pops up on YouTube is people in the community or van lifers or RVers or my feed. So yeah, Riley strain. That's right. Yeah, that's horrible. World's crazy anymore. They also found the remains of the boy in Utah. Oh, really? The, the rancher kid? The kid that had a... He owned a ranch, right? Is that the one? And they the, the guy in Utah, the boy in Utah, wasn't he, uh, a guy that worked for him or a local guy that worked was a suspect, maybe? 
Yes, Dylan Rounds. Yep. Uh, yes, the wrench boy. Did uh, they figure out how he died or who killed him? He was a ranch hand. Yeah. Freaking world is crazy. Full of crazy people. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to try to get me another one of those. Uh, 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 next, My next payday, I'm going to try to order a... Uh, find me another little pressure washer a battery powered pressure washer this one uh they're giving me the money back but it won't be there till the product gets back to them and i'm not going to town till next week so i'll get it mailed off the guy that killed him was the ranch hand okay that's what i thought the ranch hand had shot him he had to take them to barrel site a part of a plea agreement oh wow I live in a crazy city. Wish I could move. I am. I'm glad I live way out in the country where I do. Not much goes on out here. <laughs> and if you anything goes on out here, everybody knows it quickly. <laughs> I live uh, south of Grants Pass, out by the mountains, and, but I'm in a valley. A lot of farmers out here. Um, very. You guys see the little store in my videos. Uh, so it's it's very uh, uh, everybody knows everybody kind of. Righteous Adventures, hello, good to see you. Oh, oh okay, you went to search with the recovery team. That's awesome. Lily says she's trying to get out of the Portland area. Diane says, Phoenix says I about the same there. Yeah, so it's, um, I mean, like the little market down here is all local grown veggies and stuff, you know. Uh, and I live by the library out here. Uh, and it's only open like a couple of hours, three times a week. And, you know, it's just real small. Real small area. Becky says she's familiar with underwater recovery. 16 in the house. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, we're just doing a pop-up and hang out for a few minutes. I'll probably only be live for 30 or 40 minutes, but I wanted to make sure and get in here and say hello to everybody. Hey, oh, good to see you. Oh, that's cool, Buzzy. You're familiar with the area. Yeah, I like small towns too, Lily. <clears throat> I got a... A friend of mine gave me a little bitty air fryer. I never used the air fryer before. Uh, I cooked some chicken and veggies in it today. Man, that's good. It's so good in there and easy to clean up. I uh, I got a little bit of a crunch on the chicken. All I did was put it in a baggie with a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil and some veggies. Shake it all up. Throw it in the or and put seasoning. I put Mrs. Dash seasoning all in it. Threw it in the air fryer for twenty minutes. That was so good and easy to fix. Oh, thank you. I've been doing pretty good. Last this last uh, this week and part of last week has been irritating on YouTube a little bit. You guys probably seen my post. I somebody emailing me about wanting me to hate on another channel, and I just won't do it. I, I you know, and I they kept emailing me, so I kind of I kind of put up a video and then they stopped. So, okay, Becky, thank you for being here. Oh, thank you, Becky, so much. You have a good day. 
Yeah, I like the sand pot, uh, uh, teapot, sand pot, teapot, uh, Lily. It's pretty awesome. Uh, let me see. Some hang on. Let me text them back. Telling them I'm live. There we go. Yeah, I, you know, I had never used grapeseed oil very much until here lately, and I really like it. Um, I just put a little bit in a baggie and shook that. Ch hey, Alan, good to see you. I put a little bit in that. Uh, uh, chicken in a bag and I put Mrs. Dash seasonings on it, shook it all up with the veggies, just dumped them in there and 20 minutes later they were good. Uh, definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, I ate dinner early. I'm trying not to eat anything after 4 p.m. So I'm trying to really change my eating habit. Uh, I get real hungry at night when I'm watching TV. <laughs> and so what I've been doing at night, I'll put me some fruit and maybe some yogurt in this or some tea with fruit and make a cold drink. And that's what I've been eating after 4 or 5 p.m. drinking. <clears throat> yeah, grapeseed oil is great to cook with. I, I like it a lot so far. Let's see. Some and my chat jumped on me. I I is Nate going live today? Not until about four, I'm think so. I won't be walking on him. Good to see you, Alan. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I've been outside talking to Austin a little bit. He has went up to the claim and dug up some dirt out of the creek and and run it through his sluice boxes. And he's doing pretty good on finding a little bit of gold. Paid for his gas up there so far. So that's good. I'm, I've got a... He got me a... I'll show you here. It was a Christmas present. I'm going to go up there with him. He got me what you call a little pocket sluice. And um, it's just a little pocket sluice. And we're going to take it up there. He's going to teach me how to use it. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get another one and put on this to make it longer. And uh, so we'll uh, see how it does on catching gold. He's got a five-inch sluice, I believe it is, a big sluice. But I just want stuff to play around with and, you know, a little hobby thing. I do have to get a gold, a couple of gold pans, though. Those are not expensive at all. Charlie Grace is in the house. What's going on, Charlie? Good to see you. I just doing a pop-up today to say hi to everybody. Good to see you. Had the kitties outside all day this morning. They were looking at me like I was crazy because I was washing the pan with a bucket of water. I don't have a hose that will come out here. And uh, I was just washing off. Uh, a lot of stuff off the trees have fallen on it. So I was washing spots. Fairy dust is in the house. How you doing? Good to see you, Renee. Now, fairy dust, are you going to be at 024? I'm telling you, I love these little blenders. Just a little bit of ice. I can make crushed ice with it. Oh, yeah. It's just a hobby. Oh, just something to do. You know, get a little exercise and a hobby. I haven't done too much of it yet. He's taught me how to pan. Um, but 
I'm just going to be doing it. I'm uh, every once in a while I'll ride up with him to the mine or the claim and just hang out for the day. It's way in the mountains, so it's kind of cool. It's really beautiful there. Awesome fairy dust. That'll be cool. Yeah, I uh, I was going to wait and do a live at my normal time tonight, but I don't want to. It's Man, I'm getting old, I tell you. I just I don't have the energy to do it at like 7 anymore. And so it, it just wears me out. So I thought, you know what, I'll do one now. Uh, this little Ninja Blast at Walmart, I believe it was $39, but I use it all day. <laughs> I use it for everything. I'll even make little blended coffees in it. You know, like a cold brew. Uh, I'll make a, a cup of coffee, let it cool off, put some ice in here, blend it up. It's good. Yeah, they, I think you might be able to get them on those Ninja Blast on Amazon a little cheaper than Walmart, I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm uh I'm just getting too old, Fairy Dust. <laughs> I'm getting too tired. I really been trying to switch my hours up, get up earlier, but last night laid down, could not fall asleep. I mean, I fell asleep from nine to eleven, and then I just couldn't fall asleep. I think I went to sleep at four a.m. and I ended up getting up at nine thirty. So, let's see here. Oh, chat jumped on me again. Anyway. And Fairy Dust says, yes, I hear you. You're not old, Fairy Dust. Yeah, it, it you can see the ice in it. It just crushes it like that. I, I fill it up with ice and then tea and just crush the ice and sip on it and drink on it. And it, and what's nice about it, Busby, is it, it charges with a, you know, just a little charger. And the battery, I mean, at last I charge it up. I, I'll, I'll use it two or three days before I have to charge it. <clears throat> yeah, the green, uh, that's what uh, Austin, he, he has some green ones and some blue ones. And he also has some classifiers, uh, but. I won't need to get any of the classifiers. I'll just use his and sh uh, shuffle through the dirt, you know. He's got some blue ones and some green ones, I noticed. That little pocket sluice, though, is kind of cool. Uh, it don't, you can't do much dirt through it at, at once, but it's pretty cool. Get out of that cat. Holy moly. But we got about seven more minutes. I just wanted to say hi to y'all. See how it's going. And uh, I don't even know if Ray's going. I don't even know if Ray is going live tonight. I didn't look. That was a good. Uh, that was a fun live with his. Uh. Eclipse thing, the Eclipse live he had. Yeah, yeah, if you classify it, it's easier. Yeah, he's got classifiers that I can uh, use to classify it with. Charlie Gray saying hello to Fairy Desk. Let's see here. Chat jumped on me again. I don't know about this chat. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm going to film when I go up to the claim and uh, uh, I'm just doing it for a hobby if I find something cool. But they, they have a pretty good spot, uh, pretty good find so far, a lot of color in the pans. 
And they st when they go up there, one of them goes up there and stays four or five days at a time. And Austin, he'll go up for the day and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, find good spots to dig. Because you cannot use a, a dredge here. You can't use anything gas-powered or motorized-powered uh, on these creeks and rivers and stuff here. They don't allow it. Uh, but they can use their dredge or their uh, sluice boxes and stuff and uh, just do it all by hand. And they're doing pretty good, actually. Uh, Charlie says it's super windy there, but she's got to get out and get some groceries. Okay, CO, thank you for being here. Yeah, I haven't been, I, I usually put out quite a few shorts, but I haven't been putting out shorts because they, they honestly mess up the analytics in a way. Uh, to me, it seems like it does. So I've kind of laid back on the shorts. I like doing shorts of the kitty cats, but, you know, just for fun. But it just, it kind of messes up my analytics from what I'm seeing. <clears throat> See you later, O. Thank you for being here. Boy, you two better quit fighting. They fighting up there. <clears throat> yeah, where the O24 meetups at is on the Rogue River. Um, the Rogue River has really been mined a lot, you know. Uh, uh, but I'm going to take my little pocket. Well, I'll have it with me, my little pocket sleeves. So I'm going to see if I can find some good spots to dig there at the river. And see if we can find anything. It'll be fun to do. Also going to do a. I'm going to do a. Jet boat river trip I think. Yeah. Yeah you can buy the pay dirt. Uh, yeah that's the easiest way. But uh, the claim that these guys have. They every time they go. They come back. Uh, uh, this time I think. They spent like a. Six hours up there. And they've got over a hundred in gold uh they're still panning it out so that's pretty good you know just for fun Tamara renee hello how did i find a place uh i just knew somebody that had a spot uh and i asked them if they would rent it out and and i'm able to be plugged in here and so enable and have wi-fi here it's not the greatest wi-fi but it's good good enough and uh and uh, it actually is friends I've known for God, since I was 18, I've been a friend to the family for a long time. The broken nomad is in the house. What's up? What's up, Kevin? Good to see you. Bonnie Martin's in the house. Hello. Good to see you. Freebird UK van life. Hello from the UK. Good to see you. We just chatting a little bit. I just brought the kitties in. They've been out all day, and they're still rambunctious, especially Doc. He's being very rambunctious. Uh, but, yeah, we were talking a little bit about, um, <clears throat> I was telling uh, the guys just coming in, uh, my buddy has a, a, a gold claim up in the mountains here, and uh, i just been learning how to pan with them, and just for a hobby, but it's fun. It's it's. Uh, it's fun when you see that sparkly yellow in the bottom of the pan. What's the weather like in the UK today, my friend? It is sunshiny here today. I'm doing good. Uh, it's only bummer thing that today was I had... I ordered, and it was an inexpensive one, but I got a little battery-powered pressure washer, a no-name one. It was only 30 bucks, and I was just hoping that it would work good enough to help me so I could wash my windows because I can't reach them. And dadgummit, I turned on, the motor goes, but it will not prime. Even put a hose on the thing trying to push the water through, it just won't prime. It, it will not spray. So I called Amazon and they told me I got to ship it back and then they'll credit me. Uh, I don't think I'll try to buy another one. I, I just don't. I want I wanted to get a little, you know, like a little battery power. It's a 21 volt 
battery. So I knew it wouldn't be that powerful, but good enough to get the top of the windows wet at least. And it didn't work at all. Would not, not a drop came out of it. Tried everything. But yeah. Uh, oops, I seen Busby say something, but something popped up. Uh, first pan. I had a YouTube friend show her how to do it. Yeah, I got a video where Austin was teaching me how to pan. He's quite good with panning. Uh, I think I know that one over there. That Charlie Grace. Oh. <laughs> Miss Charlie Grace. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I definitely... And bummed that it didn't work because uh, I, I wanted to w wash part of my van too, but it's just not going to happen. And I'm not going to order another one th the way this one didn't work. That's for sure. Yeah, maybe just a bad one, Bonnie. It could be. I bought an extendable brush that attaches to a hose, but it uh, through the scene. Yeah, yeah, I don't have anywhere to attach to a hose here. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have a hose that, that'll run out to my van. <clears throat> I'm way out in the country at a place where there's two cabins that are like 100 years old. And so uh, getting water to my van is not good. But this little thing showed you could just drop the end in a five-gallon bucket of water and it would spray good enough, you know, you could wash just wouldn't work three generations is in the house good to see you good to see you yeah uh i was definitely bummed about it i was so excited when i opened i was like yes and so i hauled over a bucket of water and man i tried everything i could blow through the hose and bubbles would come up in the bucket but that motor just wouldn't suck the water out and it even has attachment you could put a bottle of water on it and spray but it wouldn't even pull up out of that i don't know why i you, you could hear it it would run just wouldn't pressure the water up but that's what you get when you spend 30 bucks for a battery powered <laughs> pressure washer uh, uh. Get what you pay for. <laughs> uh, the kid next door at the cabin behind me, he he'll wash my. He has a pressure washer, a big one, and uh, I can pull my van over there and pay him to wash it. Wait, where'd she go? I don't know, Kevin. She disappeared. She said she had to go get groceries. Maybe that's where she went. See you later, Lily. Thanks for being here. All right, guys. I just wanted to pop on and say hi. And thank you for being here. Always good to see you guys. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to set up a couple of interviews. Uh... And what, if I get an interview set up, I will do it on my normal time on Wednesdays, like at 7 p.m. my time. But uh, I haven't got anything lined up yet. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. I love you all. I hope you guys are having a great week. This guy is being a maniac. Aren't you? You're being a maniac. <laughs> Thank you, Tamara. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I will see you on the next one.